Hi everybody, it's been a while. Uh, if you happen to be new here, welcome to the channel. Um, hope you resonate with this message, whatever comes through. This is a pick a card reading on whatever the title says. Um, I still need to look at the suggestions that were left. So I am about to pick one. I think I am going to pick Moonlight Goddesses reading. Um, so this is a pick a card reading on what are you manifesting right now? So go ahead and go to the timestamps that are in the description box below. If you'd like to choose a reading, we are going to be doing these readings. Uh, we are going to be doing readings one through three. So one, two, or three. If you would like to pick based off of a crystal, I have this, uh, this might be a quartz, not sure. <laughs> uh, this is aquamarine. Number three is Rose Quartz. Uh, also, as a number synchronicity, it is 232 right now. So 232 for any of you that resonate with that. Um, yeah, so once you've chosen your reading, I will see you um, over there. draw some of my one piece message cards so what you are manifesting right now will have to do with some sort of gift something that you win in um, and you just win for no reason you get a gift for no reason don't know if you can read it but it says gift for no reason you win uh, rewards no matter the circumstances. So no matter the circumstance you're in right now, you win. So that's what you're manifesting, if that makes sense. And you also get chance meeting potential. So, okay. Pretty much from this exact message, the whole theme of it would be um, someone, it could be manifesting support, manifesting a friendship or something like that. Um, it'll depend on what happens for you, of course, but if this resonates and everything, Let's go ahead and draw some tarot cards to clarify. Clarifying this message, we get the fool. Okay, yeah, so this is something completely new. This would, this could be like meeting someone you've never met before or um, having a, a whole new situation winning at something that you never got to win at before. That could be like life, winning at life. You know, feeling like everything is going well in your favor um, or something that you felt like um, you were never going to experience. All of a sudden you're experiencing it. 
the hierophant. Uh, it could be with your path. You might be someone who's been going on a path for a long time. You always knew what you wanted out of life or you had a very clear, simple goal that is in essence quite innocent and just pure and something that you love, yet the world somehow denied you uh, one or some number of simple requests. Um, if I were to like give an example for me of how this might apply was I always wanted to do music and stuff and even though it seemed really simple and just like it should be fine it felt like there were so many obstacles in my path and people against me somehow that made it difficult for me to go towards my actual dreams in life um, just my whole way of living um, wanting to do something just purely for the love of whatever that is people always think there's some sort of hidden agenda or whatever. Right now I'm just going off of uh, this One Piece character. This person's dream is simply to learn history and yet there were too many uh, enemies in her path pretty much and it's really sad. How many people are against this person simply because they come from a family line or a, a civilization of historians. So that's kind of spoilers for those of you who have not watched One Piece but Sorry, <laughs> whoops. Um, maybe I should have given a heads up, but it's not too bad. There's so much information from One Piece, so being spoiled a thing or two isn't too bad, right? The Chariot and the, uh, the Emperor. So this is something big. We just get Major Arcana cards, including on the back of the deck, the world. So this is a major transition or a, a major event happening that moves things forward so it looks like a lot of you are awakening in some form or you've already awakened for a while on this journey and you've been noticing finally time has been moving forward it must it may have felt frozen for a long time and now suddenly things feel like you're actually going somewhere or something like that you know I'm just getting that vibe that you've been on this road a long time waiting for some things for a long time and finally maybe in the last couple years or couple months depending on your situation or your you know what you've been through in life finally for the last however long you've been finally uh experiencing more of what you've been wanting to experience so that's what I'm getting that you're manifesting. You're manifesting this time moving forward, the frozen clock, the, the clock stuck that was broken to finally tick, like what? It's moving, what? Time is moving forward again, finally, yeah, you know? Something like that. I'm not getting any sort of a delay energy. So, and this is what you're manifesting right now. So you're manifesting fast energy but that's also going to be very gradual, but it's still going to be new and exciting and it's big. So, um, there is a lot of earth and fire energy coming through these cards for me. Um, so I do think it's going to be something very uh, much related to your passion and related to the physical world. So this could be like succeeding financially, um, we're coming together with a very meaningful connection with that fire energies that's also in there. Um, but it's leaning towards like something more financial or uh, prosperity or some sort of security for something that helps you get to live your life more relaxed than, than before or something like that. So that's what I have for reading number one. I hope that made sense for you. And I am wishing you all the best. And it's good to be back. So I will see you all uh, next time. I hope to be doing like monthly and weekly readings again. But that's after I am back and like in the flow where I'm like uploading like every day or every other day or something like that. Um, yeah, if you guys would like to see more um, and would like to support the channel, I do have donation links down below. You could also book a personal reading with me. If you want to get that set up, you can email me. Um, 
if, if you're confused on any of that, but yeah, that's all. I should have said that at the beginning of the video because now I'll either have to repeat this for readings two or two and three, or I'll forget <laughs> or something, but yeah. All right, I'll see you all later. Bye. Okay, reading number two, Aquamarine. Let's go ahead and grab these ones. So we've got some One Piece messages. And okay, so I think what you're manifesting right now is something that's big. It's happening right now, but it's gonna take time, like all manifestations do. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, so it says, promise someday, sooner than you know, though. It will be sooner than you know, but it's, it's still someday. Um, or all of a sudden, yeah, something happening all of a sudden, someday. Aww. Yeah. So I think what's happening now is some sort of a promise that's occurring. And then someday that promise will be fulfilled. <laughs> so that's exciting. That could be like an engagement of some sort. Um, if you're getting engaged or if you're entering some sort of commitment with somebody or um, at a place that you really want to be at, uh, like a job or um, a program or school or something like that. It could be anything. Uh, onward to reunite. Okay, so it's it's more of, for maybe a lot of you, it's, it's gonna be more of like a promise with a person. That's kind of what I get. Promise with somebody. Mm. And I think it, this person in particular is like a friend. If any of you are coming here for like, in terms of love or you know, like romance, type of love like that partner like a monogamous commitment or something like that or whatever you're looking for I don't know um, but if you're looking for like the one so to speak um I'll never discount that I believe we all deserve whatever we want out of life and whoever you know um, not like you can pick a specific person and like no ifs or buts about it. it's like of course there's the whole free will thing and it has to be mutual and both people wanting and willing and you know all that stuff but what i mean by you deserve whoever and like like you do deserve love um especially in the form of support from other people so to me this looks like it's more talking about like a friendship and then someday maybe those connections or events that happen due to your new situation of being with these new friends or people will someday lead you up to meeting the one so to speak if that makes sense that might sound indirect and that might sound like well how can we be sure like like you know like what are the chances that just like a new friend or whatever is going to be the one person that leads you to the one somehow you know or like that's how it unfolds you know but I'm getting for some of you that really could be the case. Some of you might have a feeling that that's how you might meet your person, that it might be through like a friend or something or like someone somehow introduces you to this person, something like that. Um, it's kind of a mixture of things. Basically, I'm going off the plot that I know in the series. Pretty much at this arc, one of the main characters um, finally gets recognized uh, by somebody, by the world, pretty much. So they get their photo taken for the first time in the whole series. Later on, now that there's a photo of them, it turns out they come from a background of people. And so those people now know that this character is alive and they didn't know that. So they're like, okay, we're gonna force this character to come back for certain family obligations. And through that, this person is forced into meeting someone who ends up being like their perfect match. But the circumstances are nothing like that. It just so happened to miraculously work out that way. So that's kind of where I'm drawing this energy from, as well as from the messages. 
that I have written back here. So we're gonna go ahead and draw some tarot cards. This does seem to be like a love-related reading for those of you who chose reading number two, which is interesting because I felt like maybe reading three would be like that because it's rose quartz, but yeah. But this, oh yeah, and this could very well be, you know, just cutting to the chase like that person like now instead of like more developments building up to it or whatever but it'll just depend on those of you listening and if that resonates but we've got the ten of cups and the two of pentacles so i would say there's definitely those of you in here that you know that this is about already the person that this is like all of a sudden you've made a promise with uh, already that person. So there might be some of you in a previous ripple effect, you know, like the, there's the, like, you know, like when things happen in waves, so we all experience stuff, but we might experience it in a delay. So some of you have already met this person. So you're establishing some sort of a promise um, or um, reuniting or going somewhere and knowing that you're coming back together. Um, you know, like if one of you has to go away on a trip or something or a work thing, I don't know. Um, I kind of just get that's what's happening somehow. And this manifestation is going to bring you a lot of emotional happiness. Um, so physically, I think your world is going to look physically quite the same. So you're not, I don't see reading too, if some of you are wondering if you're going to move or get out of your living situation that you've been in for a long time, it looks like you're going to be still in this situation that you're in, but you're going to find a lot more happiness somehow, um, even though it didn't seem like that would be possible in such a place, you know? So some of you, that's where you're at now. You've managed to find that happiness, despite the fact that you still are in a place that you used to connect with the reason for why you're not happy, you know? I'm definitely resonating with those messages. <laughs> but we are gonna draw some more cards. Oh yeah, justice is on the back. So very much my energy. Um, definitely things coming in for you that uh, at, like spirit's been promising you basically rewards or things to come out right for you for a change. This will be happening in terms of if it's really right now or if it's time, I really feel like it's time, temperance. Like this is something that's going to be happening over some period of time. Nine of cups. So there will be a lot of happiness now and then it'll be happening over a long period of time. So this sounds like consistency. So if you've been looking for consistency, um, it looks like that's what you're manifesting right now as well. We also get the Hierophant here, the Ace of Swords, and the King of Swords. So those of you know what or who this is about, um, if it is about a person or committed with somebody basically, and you just, you know this is something that makes a lot of sense. There's a lot of clarity here. <laughs> In my case, this could be an air sign. There can also be an earth sign involved. There's all sorts of energy coming through in this reading and water, so. But obviously that's already three out of four elements. So, you know, this is just for everybody who resonates. But Six of Pentacles, um, ultimately this feels like it needs to be something that's fair. This is matching the Justice card energy. I don't know if I left the card out. I did not, but hopefully you guys remember the Justice card earlier. King of Wands, there's the fire. So it really is, it's a big mixture of energy. Four of Wands, it is some sort of coming together. It, you know, reuniting is another card that Four of Wands uh, represents, it, or is represented by the card Four of Wands. I don't know. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much what I have for reading two. I don't see any other message unless if I draw another One Piece card. Um, I think, I think that's it though. So. I hope that resonates with you. I'm wishing you all the best. Hope it wasn't too confusing if I was vague or something. I don't know. I have a really short time memory. Short term, I don't know. <laughs> so after I say stuff, I kind of forget what I said. 
a little bit, but uh, not like a lot, but well, I don't know. But anyways, hope you guys resonated with that. I will talk to you all later and it's really good to be back. All right, take care. All right. So this is reading number three. We are gonna draw uh, three cards from my One Piece messages bottle or whatever that is, container. So the first thing we've got is uh, power, wealth, money. So money, influence, the ability to actually get to decide what you want in life, something like that. So some sort of, you're being given opportunity um, to make a change. You have all the strength now. So you're being given a lot of strength. You're manifesting strength is what I'm getting from this. Let's draw another. Let's see what this is. Hmm. This is resources, strength and resources. There's a theme going on here for reading number three. Uh, resources built up, long-term progress achieved. So you've been working hard for a long time and it's paying off pretty much. So that's what you're manifesting is what I'm getting. Some of you could be taking a break. This is just from a message coming through from one of my friends. Um, shout out to Effie. Um, hi, if you chose this reading or if you're if you're watching this video. <laughs> um, so some of you could be taking a break and that will pay off for you. Um, it's a really good power move, so to speak. Let's get some tarot cards to be more clear of what you are manifesting right now. It really looks like wealth. Uh, love as well, I would say. The Knight of Cups, it to me, is a card of romance. That doesn't have to be what it represents to you. If you know what this means, then it's that. It's whatever the, whatever this card means to you. Um, but to me, it's romance. The Two of Swords. Okay, so... Interesting. You are manifesting your power back. You're reclaiming your power. So some of you might have been in some sort of uh, karmic cycle, some sort of loop with a, with a person that there's a lot of uh, a deep connection with. It, if it's not, if you wouldn't define it as romantic or as like that kind of commitment that you're looking for, but instead just a really intense, uh, deep, meaningful connection to you or something, this is, I would say about that person. Um, again, some of you, it, it could also line up that they are like this romantic interest of yours or something. The sun is positive though on the back of the deck. So apparently you're manifesting something positive about this, which is probably taking the energy back, taking your power back. So again, for those of you who've been in some sort of karmic cycle with this person, yes, it is a very intense, it is a very intense connection, but um, you may have been feeling powerless in some way. And maybe you or both of you are claiming, reclaiming your own power back. Um, and it might not look pretty. You both might not, uh, see how it's the most positive thing, but I'm getting it really is. And over time you will see this. I'm going to draw one more card from here. The two of wands. Um, yeah, the world is in your hands. You reclaimed your power. And now, now that you have all this energy back, you're going to have a lot of energy and time to build more things that you've wanted to build in your life. So that's pretty cool. The three of Cups. Um, and this is going to be coming through people as well. More people will be supporting you, more friends, more allies, you know. The Five of Cups. And for some reason with that, there's also loss, you know. So there will be fun times that you get to experience and those times might also come to an end might have come to an end 
or will come to an end. This is something like you had your good times, you've had some bad times, you know? And at the end of this all, you still come out on top. You didn't lose yourself. I'm getting neither of you did. You both continue to find yourself more. Ten of Wands, and to be able to let go of the burdensome energy of losing whatever fun times you got to have together. So this does sound like kind of accepting things, moving on, that type of a thing. Um, but it doesn't, if, if that sounds like not what you really want or not something you're really ready for, um, that's okay. This could just be a message for other people then um, listening, because this is a general reading. The Page of Pentacles, regardless, this is supposed to be bringing in manifestation, right? You will be bringing in offers. You are going to be attracting that into your life. Some sort of tangible offer. Um, five of Swords. And I think... It could end up being from defensive energies. Um, in other words, like something where it's unclear, like someone's not being clear with you of what they really want or whatever. It just looks like you both, you might step, both step away and accept whatever, but you're also standing your ground in what you feel with how you feel about the situation and somehow life will provide the next steps for you to both learn certain things to perhaps come back together. It looks quite positive. I also see the Knight of Pentacles. So there is a lot of big earth, air, uh, fire, water, all the elements coming in. So whenever I see this, I just feel like all this harmony, um, so I think there's a lot more harmony in the situation than you think. So getting all that, we are going to draw one more One Piece card. I trust One Piece. I really, really do. It's astounding how fast the time fleets, is what it says. And it says, enjoy the moment. So, wherever you're at right now, what you're manifesting right now is this moment right now. What do you have right now? Enjoy it. And if some of you are like, hmm, like, I can't, or if it hurts, if it's very intense for you, you will be enjoying the moment very soon. That's what you're manifesting. If that's what you truly want, and maybe some of you are very emotional and you're like, yes, that's really, I just want to be happy, I just, I just want to know that I can be happy instead of hurting or suffering or whatever. You will be manifesting that happiness um, and that ability to be with those that you really love, you know? That's what I get here, so. Wow. I hope that resonates with you all. Uh, thank you so much for listening. I am wishing you all the best. Um, it is really good to be back. If you guys want to see more content on the channel and would like to support um, me and this YouTube channel, uh, there are donation links in the description below if you're interested or if you'd like to book a reading with me. Ooh, sorry, there's a, an alarm. Um, but yeah, if you'd like to book a reading, you can. And or liking, subscribing, commenting. I don't know. There's those all. Yeah. Oh, Instagram. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to go now and I will see you all later. All right. Take care.